There must be a billion germs in here. Ow! Make that a billion and one. Henry, have you seen Peter? Peter? Um, let me think. I need to talk to you both. Margaret's coming to stay. Moody Margaret! Coming to stay here? Yes, while her parents are on holiday. Ooh, Betty! Uh -huh. I love having guests. <gasps> Henry, how could you be so horrid? I was just tidying up. Well, 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 no pocket money for a month. And as you've been so horrid to Peter, Margaret can have your room. My room? Now, I expect both of you to make Margaret's stay a pleasant one. <laughs> Shall I run through the basics of hospitality again, Henry? Oh, 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 she's here! Oh. There should be a law about who gets to stay in your room. She's going to spy on my things, play with my toys, read my comics. Thanks so much for having Margaret to stay. She's such a little angel. Isn't that right, Precious? Yes, Mum. Welcome to our home. May I take those? <sighs> You're sleeping in Henry's room. But don't worry, I've cleaned it. She'll be no trouble. Margaret's always polite, eats everything and never complains. Good as gold, aren't you precious? <laughs> See you in a week's time. Henry. Margaret. I'm the guest, so you'd better be polite. <sighs> Show me to my room. It's my room! We hope you'll be very comfortable here, Margaret. There's too much dust. I'm allergic to dust. A chew. Oh, dear. Well, don't worry. We'll vacuum. We, we will? will? Uh, I always eat at six o'clock at my house. It's six o'clock. I'm hungry. Fine. We'll eat early. Oh. Those things belong to our guest. You should be more careful. <laughs> oh! For you, Margaret. I don't like sprouts and I like my corn off the cob. Fine, give it to me. And put the corn on a separate plate. I don't like vegetables touching my meat. Yeah, and put Margaret in a separate room. I don't like looking at her. Oh. Ouch! Henry kicked me. No, I didn't. This is so embarrassing. Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. When I'm king, I'll show Moody Margaret who's... who's... king. Henry, stop playing with your food. Henry? You've already lost your pocket money for one month, Henry. We can make it two if you don't start behaving now. Good night, Bunny. Good night, Bunny. Oh, yuck! <laughs> Margaret! Why don't you tell Mum and get Margaret into trouble for a change? Tell my guest. But I couldn't. It's bad manners. Bad manners? You're a wormy worm. She's in there snooping through all my stuff. Eureka! That's it! Yes! Margaret is our guest. If she wants to snoop, then it's my duty to make it easier for her. Tomorrow is going to be the return of Henry. <laughs> what? Stop it! It's me, Susan! Ha! That's what 
what you say. But if you can't remember the secret club password, how do I know you are who you say you are? Nunga! Nunga! The password is Nunga! You're not supposed to know our password! You told him our password! How could I? I couldn't remember it! Nunga, Nunga, Nunga! Come on, let me in! Don't let him in, Margaret! I've got too stupid. It's in the rules. Nunga no. Okay, you're in. Now get out. Mm. You never get past the purple hang gang security that easily. Really? Have another one. Peter! Peter! Where's that one gone? your post when you were on guard duty. I didn't! Susan wanted a glass of water and I... Oh. Prepare for your official purple hand gang punishment. <laughs> Eek! Oh, don't be such a baby. It's only water. Oh, no, Margaret. It's... Turbo-powered water! <laughs> Why do you have to be so horrid, Henry? But I didn't do anything. Much? And why can't you play nicely with Peter? Oh! <laughs> oh! But I didn't start it! I don't care who started it. Play nicely or else. Oh, it's not fair. with you? Are you in trouble? If I'm not good, I'm going to get rid of my fort. Oh, no. Oh, yes. And plant more vegetables instead. Oh, that's really mean. Yeah, really mean. Because <laughs> even vegetables wouldn't want to join your ratty gang. <laughs> Compared to my gang, your club is stinkier than a pooper scooper. Everyone knows the purple hang gang is best. You think so? Well, why don't you prove it? Are you challenging me? I dare you to challenge me. OK. I challenge you. I declare that today will take place a series of challenges and dares to decide which is the pre... the... the pre... Min, the pre... Min, the best? The best! The Secret Club! Hooray! Or the Purple Hand Gang! Hooray! Let the battle commence! Did she twitch? Um, uh... Oh, can we get on with this? to scream! No, she isn't. <sighs> so, what else have you got? <sighs> One point to the secret club! Last chance. Are you going to say my club is best? Your club is... Pond scum! <clears throat> This is the best I can do! Not anymore! Oh. One point to the purple hand gang! Hooray! I would really, really, really like to see a real live fairy, but they're very shy. They hide in the 
trees and bushes. Ready? Ready. have fairy wings so they can fly and they have magic fairy dust so they can do magic and... Shh. And what are you two up to? It's nearly empty, Henry. Who's eaten all the sweets? It was... Fairies? Yeah, must have been fairies. Fairies don't eat sweets, Henry. Silence, worm. Stick your tongues out. But now. And I suppose the fairies painted your tongues red too. I'm telling your mum, Ralph. And as for you, Henry, you won't be choosing a video this weekend. But... You should have thought of that before you ate all the sweets. But we didn't eat all of them. Peter, you can choose. Whoa, goody! I want to see fairy fun again! Fairy fun? No! Fairy fun is for babies. I know. We've seen it 21 times. Maybe Peter will get into trouble and you'll get your turn back. <laughs> Peter, get into trouble? You must be joking. There's my mum. See ya. Ralph's right. I'm always getting into trouble. But Peter never gets into trouble. Not on his own, anyway. <gasps> Look, Henry, I'm making fairy wings. But I need some material. Why don't you use Dad's shirt? But that's Dad's best shirt. I can't use Dad's best shirt. I'm sure he won't mind. Oh, OK then. <laughs> Easy peasy. Peter's taken Dad's best shirt. What? Well, wh why on earth would Peter do that? Well, I don't know. He says he's making fairy wings. Fairy wings? Oh, how sweet. He's so creative. Oh. It's not easy getting Peter into trouble when everyone thinks he's so perfect. Hey, who's playing the retro mock? <laughs> nice try, Margaret. For your information, Wimphead, I am the Sugar Plum Fairy. <laughs> the Sugar Plum Fairy, more like. <laughs> Listen to me, Airhead. My mum's already given me a monster magic kit. A monster magic kit? And a double, triple drench of 10,000. Double, triple drench of 10,000? And a fairy wary walkie talkie burpee slurpy teasy wheezy doll. And a. Well, I don't want one of those. Because I practice every day. Self death! <laughs> It'll take more than a double, triple drench of 10,000 to get me into that stupid skirt. You sugar dumb fairies can be really mean! You Eureka! That's it! Fairies!
aren't you? Well, get used to it, because I'm going to have my ten minutes of fame, and I'm going to have it now. Aren't I, Fluffy Fairy? Yes, Margaret, because you're a superstar. Yes, I am. I am a superstar, and no one can take that away from me. Especially not that beetle brain bumps next door. Margaret Magnesia the Magnificent. Let's see if we can give them a hand, shall we? <laughs> Watch and learn, my friend. Watch and learn. Left a bit. Uh, no, right a bit. And just what you think you're doing? Oh, Margaret, you made me jump. That was the general idea, bird brain. I asked you a question. Um, we're just uh, taking something somewhere. Really? What? Just a few of Henry's old clothes. Clothes? Let me see. Ralph, I got all this from what you got. Oi! Oh, some of this stuff's in quite good nick. You should try selling it. Duh, that's exactly what we're going to do, clever clogs. Oh, sorry, Henry. You should have a fashion show. Uh, yes, we were going to do that too. Well, you'd be wanting me as a supermodel then, won't you? Um... Good, that's sorted and we can have it at my house tomorrow. Oh, and bring this stuff over now. It'll need to be washed at least 20 times if he's been wearing it. Well, that's sorted then. It's so easy when you're a superstar. People just want to work with you all the time. Now then, let's get this show on the road. Elite guest list, then we'll run our PR and marketing campaign. PR and marketing, right, got it. I'm speaking! Oh, uh, yes, sorry, my precious. Then we'll launch our digital strategy. Which is? Oh, I don't know, we'll make it up as we go along. Oh, uh, right, Puppet. And we'll book a slot for the promo on Avarice TV, right next to Two Call for School. Mm, won't that be very expensive? Of course it will be expensive. That's the whole point. Are you saying I'm not worth it? Oh, oh, oh no, no, of course not. And we'll need a catalogue. Of course, sweetness. And don't sweetness me. Henceforth, you will address me as Margaret the Magnificent. Oh, uh, all right, sweet. I, I mean, Margaret. The Magnificent? Yes, Margaret the Magnificent. Now, chop chop, let's get this show on the rocking and rolling road. Now would be good. Oh, I'm going to have to have a lie down. It's exhausting being a superstar. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The moment when we ask, are you ready for Magnificent Margaret? Woo! That's me! Yeah, that's me! Uh, I mean, that's you! I'm Magnificent Margaret, and I'm here to tell you about my career as a supermodel, which is being launched tomorrow at my house. Be there, or else. Now, if you're really nice to me, maybe I'll let you be a model too. Oh, we're going to be supermodels! Uh, no, I said model, not supermodel. I'm the only supermodel round here. But, Margaret, I thought we were just selling Henry's old clothes for him. Where did you hear that? Henry told us. Well, he's wrong. It's my show and no one's going to take that away from me. Do you hear me? No one, no one, no one! <laughs> Whatever you say, Poppet. And don't call me Poppet. Oh, sorry, Poppet. 
Showtime! 